Yeah, I'm sweating my balls off in the van making videos. And you're in Sedona. Nice hello and welcome. Just got everything we need for today's episode, which is installing this floor and subfloor of our 2008 170 Sprinter van, extra long, extra tall. Let's get to it. All right. And so well, the first thing I started doing here is just trying to get it, all the crud removed from the floor. You wouldn't believe how much junk is under these old vans. And if you have a van of your own that you've been doing a build on, you know, just you're, you're amazed at how much crap is underneath those old floors. So I just took some purple power. I'm just kind of cleaning it up, sweeping everything out of there and trying to just start with a clean workable surface and then I'm just anything that's rust I kind of hit it with a light wire brush and I'm covering it with some paint just to protect it it wasn't really too bad but it was kind of bothering me and I wanted to just make sure it had some protection on there before I started going any deeper and really starting to lay down the floor uh, you can see right kind of in the middle of the screen that little bondo area that I just painted over in green that was actually a hole I created <laughs> removing the original floor. I had to rip up one of the old supports that holds the floor in, and that actually caused a hole in the floor. So I had to fix All right, that. Step one, inputting a floor into your sprinter van is first thing I, I got my quarter inch plywood. I have four sheets because I have the extended version, the 170, super long. I have about 16 feet of length. So I needed four sheets. I got it laid out right now. What I'm going to do is use this building paper. Let's create a template using this building paper here. And I'll show you in just a minute by what I mean by making a template. But we're going to make a template out of the building paper, hold it together with tape, and then we're going to transfer that entire template onto our plywood. That way we can cut it accordingly to all these little gaps, weird corners and edges, and every which way because as I'm sure you're already aware, if you've been doing your research, nothing is square in these vans, including the walls, the floor, there's weird shapes all over the place. So that's why we're making a template out of the building paper. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm about 20 minutes in here. And what you'll see is I've started to make a template just using, using this building paper, kind of making little cutouts where it's not straight and perpendicular to the walls. And I've gotten to the wheel well here, so I've just taped up this piece of paper using a couple sheets. I'm going to kind of butt it up where it's going to go. And I made this piece of wood, and all this is a piece of wood, and I drilled a hole in it so that the Sharpie can stick through. I'll show you what I'm going to do. So what you do. Put your paper up against, and then if you glide it along, without your paper moving, then, you take the scissors. then what you end up with is the perfect curve that goes around the wheel well. So what I'll do is I'll tape that together, I cut it, now I have that perfect curvature to go around there. After you tape it all together, it looks like this. So remember, the template doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to do its job. And by tracing it around, I get the curvature, and then I just use a flat edge piece to go along here, and I'll do it again on this side. I was really 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 not looking forward to this part but so far it's not too bad so I keep going a little pro tip for you you only got to measure these wheel wells once because they're both the same trace it onto another piece of paper just reverse it
have that one just like you have that one. See, just kind of piecing it together. And we're almost done. Thank goodness, because this is a back killer. now have an entire template of the van you can see corners are cut following the contours of the van all around now the mission is to take this out without breaking it and I have four sheets of plywood. I'm gonna lay that one in front of it, lay the template on top, trace it, and that'll go inside the van. Now I did this first before putting the battens down. And I think this was the easier way, but all right, on to the next step. the one windy day in Florida today. That fits on four sheets. I'm gonna try and straighten it out, tape it down, start tracing. Okay. Just traced it. I think it came out pretty well. I had one mistake. That was not centering up the template on all four pieces. And to kind of show you what I mean. So right here where the seam is, two boards, you know there's space to put screws. I'm gonna put a batten right in front of the wheel well, just as planned. Well I didn't have the template centered, it was skewed a little bit. So on this side, I have this little sliver here. Not a huge deal. No one's gonna see it once the floor is on, you know, a little annoying. But if you're doing this, just make sure when you're laying the template onto the plywood, make sure you center it on both sides. That way it's not on a little angle. A little oversight by me, but moving on. All right, right now we're going to start installing the frame onto the floor. I'm gonna start with this one. I'm gonna measure this. There's gonna be a piece that goes straight across. And then we'll start making our little grid to attach the subfloor to. Just like that, I'm going to start making the grid. So I'll put another one 
behind the wheel wells, in front of the wheel wells, up along the sides here, and then probably about every foot and a half. Set you guys up here and a little time lapse action. Everything's going really well. I've got most of the grid laid in here. I'm going to start gluing this down. I know I don't have every piece of the grid in, but every time I measure one spot and I fit it in, a piece moves. So I want to get the circumference glued in. That way it's not moving and I'm not spending all my time remeasuring and recutting. So this went in, really happy with it going to start gluing these in. What I have for glue, bought some Loctite all-purpose construction glue. That looks like this. For good things, should do the trick. Let's do it. All right, should go without saying, but if you look at these, these are sitting on the risers into the metal. I'm just going to lift this up. I only need to put glue on these. Check me out, check me out. Woo. All right, we have the frame is in. What's up, where you at? This feels like some real progress. So, I put heavy supports in this area here because that's going to see a lot of traffic. This is where everyone's always going to be standing the dogs, us, guests. That's where everything's going to be happening, as well as right here, which is where the kitchen will be. So the kitchen will be here, shower, bed, garage. All right, now, next step, We're almost there. We're getting close. I might actually finish this in a day. I thought this was gonna take me the whole weekend. I'm almost done. Sorry, I keep looking over here because just thinking, I probably bought way, way too much insulation. I bought three full sheets, so probably have to return one. Not a big deal. All right, let's get to it. Oh! All right, so name of the game here is to measure these holes, fit this board in between them. I got some spray foam, we'll set them, get that all in there, cut out our template, and we may actually finish before the sun goes down. I think it's about five o'clock. Have until about seven, two hours, timer starts now. All right, so it started raining, so I had to get this piece of wood just in the van out of the rain. Typical Florida sun shower, it's just about done raining. But what I'm going to do is I have um, gaps and cracks, great stuff, foam. I'm going to lift up these pieces that I've cut out. 
spray some of this in here. Do that for everyone and then next will be the tape I'll show you that in a minute so what i'm doing is filling any of these cracks Stuffing that down in there, and then see there's an open cap here, and just fill that up like so. All right, so today's a new day. As you can tell, didn't get it done yesterday. Uh, we got rained out, but I just finished up cutting all the insulation for the floor and it's all in there so what I'm gonna do now is put some gloves on yesterday I didn't put gloves on and there's still crap on my hands from this great stuff this stuff here oh, this stuff here it's actually almost gone too I'm probably gonna need some more of this so I'm just sticking this to the floor under the insulation and sticking the insulation down and then we're using tape on all the joints and that's where we're at. Say hi to Heather. Look, <laughs> look, mom's down there in Morgan. Yeah, I'm sweating my balls off in the van making videos. And you're in Sedona. No, where are they? You, you got to point to them. You see all those little people walking up? We just like hiked up a traverse, like rock climbed it. Wow, very cool. <laughs> So it's about 8 o'clock on Monday, and nothing goes as planned while working on the van. Running out of materials, running out of time, running out of... Anyways, I was determined to get this done today, Monday night, 8 o'clock. We're almost done. Just got done sealing this up. And just got uh, one more piece to go. So clearly got really late on me. I did not finish this uh, in the one day as I hoped, but with anything in the van, nothing goes as planned and we kept on chugging. I say we, it was myself. Um, if you had a helping hands, it's definitely easier project uh, working with, you know, big pieces of plywood. It's not super easy, but I was able to get it done. It fit really snugly and I was really happy with it. After I got this installed, I screwed it down into the right. battens and you can see the lines that I made so I knew where to screw. And then I just installed some luxury vinyl plank flooring. Super easy to install. Only took me maybe at most two hours and some angle aluminum just on the edges there to protect it so that it didn't pull up. Let me know if you guys enjoy these types of videos. I know I show a lot, but when I was searching online, sometimes, uh, you know, the videos looked really nice. They were really fun to watch, but I, it didn't really show me how they were doing the things that I wanted to know how to do. So I try to show as much as I can here. 
So please let me know if you like this style of video and hit the subscribe and like button and leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or comments. I'd love to chat with you and let you, um, you know, interact and give you any, any insights that I have and that I've learned from doing this if you haven't done it yet. Glad to help. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.